Hi friends, this is Dr. Rajeshwari Reddy. I am a senior gynecologist from Hyderabad. So today we will be talking about the importance of vitamin D in a woman's health. Vitamin D is a fat soluble steroid hormone that is synthesized in the skin when exposed to sunlight. The daily requirement is around 2000 international units per day. The idea behind daily dose is that it will maintain blood levels at a healthy concentration. This is the reason we try to give a daily dose of 1000 to 2000 international units per day depending on the existing uh, vitamin D3 levels. Ideally, we want more than 30 nanogram ml of vitamin D in blood. The human body produces vitamin D in response to sun exposure. It is important for maintaining healthy bones and teeth and also to strengthen the immune system. It promotes intestinal absorption of calcium and phosphorus, thus helps maintain adequate levels of calcium and phosphorus in the blood. In pregnant women, it reduces the risk of abortions. It promotes brain and fetal development of the baby. Uh, in pregnancy, the fetus is completely dependent on the mother for its vitamin D requirements. Thus, it is that much more important to supplement vitamin D in mothers. In elderly women, it's all the more important as they are highly prone to osteoporosis postmenopausally. Vitamin D deficiency leads to fragile bones, muscle pains and aches, fatigue, lethargy, muscle cramps, weakness, generalized body pains, stiffness of the joint. It also causes uh, infertility in young women. In pregnant women, it increases the risk of preeclampsia, premature birth and uh, high incidence of gestational diabetes is seen in uh, mothers who are deficient in vitamin D. There is an increased chance of genital tract infection, uh, increased risk of heart attacks, stroke and increased blood pressure uh, in the general population. We recommend uh, sun exposure of around 15 to 30 minutes per day between um, around 10 am and 4 pm. In recent times, we have been seeing a lot of vitamin D deficiency due to lack of sun exposure, uh, owing to long working hours indoor and uh, in students because there is lack of playtime uh, under the sun. Uh, there are also other causes uh, of vitamin D deficiency like use of excessive sunscreen products, wearing clothes that cover the skin entirely and of course uh, during winters and rainy season due to lack of sunlight. Trying to catch uh, sun rays at office like sitting next to the window or while driving uh, doesn't help much as the window glass uh, blocks the ultraviolet light. Vitamin D deficiency may also occur from lack of diet or poor absorption due to inflammatory bowel diseases or any other conditions that disrupt normal absorption of fat. Vitamin D is basically uh, absorbed in the first part of the duodenum. So that part being in a healthy state is very important. And of course absorption of fat because this is a fat soluble vitamin so it gets absorbed along with fat. People who cannot tolerate eggs, milk, fish or follow a strict vegan diet are also at high risk of vitamin D deficiency. Obese people are also at risk for vitamin D deficiency because vitamin D accumulates in the excess fat tissue and it is not available uh, for use in the body when required. The rich sources of uh, vitamin D in diet are egg yolk, mm, cheese, liver, mushrooms, fortified milk, fortified cereals, salmon um, and uh, cod liver oil. Uh, since vitamin D is a fat soluble uh, vitamin, it should always be taken after a heavy meal or with some fat which helps uh, in better absorption. Excessive vitamin D is also not good for the health because it leads to toxicity um, causing headache, nausea, hypercalcemia, calcification of the bones, hardening of the blood vessels, uh, deposition of calcium in the kidney, lungs. Um, there might also be increased heartbeat and uh, weight loss. 
Hypercalcemia can be life threatening and it needs attention. Other side effects can be loss of appetite, dry mouth, metallic taste in the mouth, uh, sometimes constipation or diarrhea. So um, my advice would be never to take uh, vitamin D uh, without medical advice or uh, without monitoring. I see a lot of people uh, just uh, go on taking vitamin D uh, and then you know come to us with toxicity. So either having shortage is as bad as excess. So maintaining the right levels of vitamin D in blood is very important for a healthy musculoskeletal system and a robust immune system. So whenever there is any infection, uh, be it viral infection or any kind of infection, uh, these days we supplement everybody with vitamin D. This is to build up the immune system. And of course, it also addresses the uh, strength of the bones and the muscles. Uh, so it's very helpful. So my advice would be, uh, of course, apart from the supplementation, go out and soak up the sun in open air. That is the best way uh, to keep your uh, vitamin D at optimal level. Thank you.